Hello and welcome to Cat's Love. And today I will be kickstarting my new series where I cover every single popular cat breed, but right now as I'm recording this, it's 2022, and the TISA, also known as the International Cat Association, only recognizes 73 cats, but I will probably cover more, counting how, uh, you know, as I'll probably count about 88 in this whole series, so I'll be doing 88 episodes but if there is a new cat breed, I will cover it. But anyway, um, let's get right into the most loving and affectionate cat of them all, the Abyssinian. So before you Google what, you know, how to take care or what an Abyssinian is, I will we'll, we'll do just that. Google's main definition of the Abyssinian cat says that the Abyssinian is a breed of domestic short-haired cat with a distinctive ticked tabby coat in which individual hairs are banded with different colors. They are also known simply as the Abyss. Hi, new camera frame here. <laughs> and I can also answer some questions that were asked on Google. Are they rare? Uh, they're pretty common in the United States. Are they friendly? They are one of the most friendliest cat breeds on earth. And how much do they cost? It depends where you're buying them from, but common pet stores sell Abyssinians for around $500 to $1,200, which is a lot. Cost may differ from a breeder or a different pet store. Also, did you know the Abyssinian, one of the oldest cat breeds, was named for cats exhibited? and shows in the late 1800s in England that were thought to have come from Abyssinia, the former Ethiopia. Now, taking care of an Abyssinian is very important. This, these are some tips and some tricks about the Abyssinian. To take care of an Abyssinian, you're gonna need three things. Good work hours, a good playful attitude, and a few stay-at-home days because the Abyssinian cats can actually get depressed. If you don't spend time, love, or play with it, it can get depressed. So if you got some pretty hefty work hours, then you're not really suited for the Abyssinian. If you're at home a lot and you have kids that love cats, then the Abyssinian is perfect for your household. If your Abyssinian is feeling depressed, please check up with your vet. The uh, depression, cat depression is a real thing and I will make an episode about it soon. They don't like being left alone for a while, so if you're going on a trip, make sure to either keep it short or bring your Abyssinian with you to decrease chances of your Abyssinian to have separation anxiety and, to get, and for it to get depressed. They really kind of, they, they would rather choose if you can pick them up and pet them and stuff. So if they are out of the ordinarily feisty or distant, then that's why. They have a low maintenance fur coat, so if you brush their fur weekly, then you will get a healthy shine. The three types of colors you can find on an Abyssinian. Red, orange, and brown is the most common group of colors of Abyssinian. Here is a list of patterns and colors that you can find on an Abyssinian that is Tisa, actually like official colors that you can actually find on them. Ruddy, sorrel, blue, fawn, chocolate, silver, and lilac. If you are wanting some more education about the Abyssinian, then here are some YouTube videos and channels that I personally recommend. Should You Get an Abyssinian by Lisa Seyfert. Four Fantastic Cats About the Abyssinian by Catitude Daily. I highly recommend their channel. And Abyssinian 101, Myths and Facts by Kitten Life. I also recommend their channel. The size and weight of the Abyssinian can be small to medium, weighing 7 to 10 pounds, and females weighing 6 to 8 pounds. They have medium fur coats, they do shed like most cats, and they're quiet in vocalization. They are energetic and active with their lifespan being 9 to 15 years. They are not hypoallergenic. So anyway, that is all about the lovable but can be depressed breed. They aren't known to be lab cats, but anyway, stay tuned for my next video where I answer the most common question in 20 years. Is tabby a breed or a color? Also, if you want to watch more of cat breed profiles, then my next episode on cat breed profiles will be about the Aegean cat breed. So stay tuned. Anyway, this is Cat's Love, and I will see you next episode.